Hi guys! Long range power over Ethernet switches play a crucial role in setting up a perfect remote IP camera system. Today in this video, we're going to explore the key features and benefits of a long range PoE switch. And I'll guide you through the steps to set up a perfect remote IP camera system. And please like and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling. And feel free to leave a comment below and let's start a conversation. So power over Ethernet technology is commonly used in IP camera system, where both power and data are delivered through a single Ethernet cable, simplifying installation and eliminating the need for separate power cables. However, this sense can pose a challenge in IP camera system. There are limitations to the maximum distance that data can be transmitted reliably over the Ethernet cable. So traditionally, Ethernet cables have a distance limitation of approximately 100 meters, that's 328 feet, before signal degradation occurs. To overcome this issue, network extender and switches can be employed to extend the distance between camera and the network switch. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. Behind me is the setup for today. We have an IP camera at the edge. In between, there's a 500 meters Ethernet cable. And we're using this 8-port long-range PoE Plus switch. Now this switch can help you deal with issue of Ethernet or PoE extension to meet long-range deployment with easy plug-and-play installation. Now it has 8 ports, each of them can provide up to 100 megabit per second data rate within 500 meters. And there are two 1000 megabit per second Ethernet uplink port. And it's compatible with the IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard. Provide up to 30 watts of output power per port. And actually, there are three different ways we can use on this switch. Let me explain. Method number one, we can support up to 500 meters, receive 100 megabit per second data rate with the PoE extender at the edge. So this is actually the setup for method number one. 500 meter with a PoE extender at the edge using this 8 port PoE switch. And for the second method, when we turn on the CCTV mode, all of the port can reach up to 250 meters without placing the PoE extender. So for method number two, you don't need a PoE extender, but then your data transmission rate will drop down to 10 megabit per second, but up to 250 meters. And last but not least, method number three, since there are eight ports, so only half of the port can support 250 meter, the data transmission rate dropped down to 10 megabit per second with no interference to other long range PoE ports. So you can still remain the high network speed over long distance. So half for long range and the other half can drop down. So without saying, I'll show you the method one setup now. So we have the router here to provide the main network data, the NVR and the monitor. So after we connect it to the camera, the video will display on the monitor. First, we need a short patch cord to connect the router to the NVR first. And it's already connected to the monitor. Next, using another short patch cord to connect the router to our 8 port long range PoE switch. You can see it's already powered up. And Okay, let me explain. This is the method one that we're doing, but with method two that I mentioned, this is the CCTV mode. When we move the button to CCTV mode, all of the port will drop down to 10 megabit per second and reach up to 250 meters without the PoE extender. So this is method two. Okay, let's turn it back to method number one. All of the port are supporting long range PoE. So let me plug in any of the port with this 500 meters Ethernet cable since I cannot find one with 500 meters. So I'm adding 200 with 300 meters together using this coupler. So they will join together and becoming 500 meters. Okay, 
So at the edge, we need this PoE extender. Why is the reason? Because this IP camera is just an ordinary IP camera. This is a long range setup, so it does not send back the data and the signal. That's why we need a PoE extender here to send back the data to the switch. That's why we need to put a PoE extender here at the edge by your camera. So let's put it, oops, whoops. Okay, okay. Here we go. We have this in and out. Let's plug it in here. Connect, output port. Let's use another short patch cord to connect this PoE extender. Mount it on the reel and connect with the IP camera at the edge. So plug it in here. As you can see, the indicator light is already on. It's getting power and data at the same time using the single Ethernet cable. And let's wait for it to come up. Okay, it's zooming, but you can see this is a live video because my hand is moving around. So this is the setup for number one, and I already talked about method number two when we were over here. And next, I'm going to show you how to do method number three. So for method three, as I mentioned, only half of the port can drop down to 10 megabit per second, but up to 250 meters. And the other half will remain long range. So as you can see, the setup is still remaining, but now I'm going to add 200 meter ethernet cable. So we have 100 meter here, and this is the other 100 meters. So now I have 200 meters. Let's connect it with port number eight. So those half, those half are dropped down to 10 megabit per second, but up to 250 meters. And let's join this using a coupler with the other 100 meter. So now they're joined together and then connect it to a bullet camera. So it's plugged in. It's a little bit messy. Let me sort it. So as you can see, the bullet camera is turning on too. And this is 200 meters ethernet cable in between with no PoE extender needed. Let me wave my hand to show you this is a live video and also this one. So this is all the methods that using the long range PoE switch. So the A port long range PoE plus switch can provide stable and reliable long distance run in your IP camera system. But there are a few more considerations that you should also keep in mind. First, make sure you choose a PoE compatible device and also calculate your total PoE power budget. Second, Use the pure copper cable like the Cat5B or Cat6 in your PoE setup because pure copper has superior conductivity compared to other materials, so it can provide stable cable run. Last but not least, if you're in an area where lightning and strike often, you should add a surge protection in order to protect all your devices. And thank you very much for watching us. And if you have any questions with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. And our expert will get back to you as soon as possible.